Hey, what's going on YouTube? Welcome to the first tutorial in a series that I was going to make a long time ago, but instead I'm making it now. The reason I didn't do it initially was because I got a little bit busy with classes and I, I found it very difficult to live commentate, commentate these videos. So what I ended up doing is I have notes on the side that I can refer to so I don't get off track and um, start speaking in tangents that I just never finish. <laughs> so to begin, I wanted to say that we're actually going to be building this program in C++ instead of C. The reason why is because C++ offers a few extra features such as easy linked lists, um, easy object oriented programming which we're going to be utilizing and it just makes it easier in a lot of ways and I'm also more used to it. So we're going to use C++. <laughs> uh, you can obviously translate it to C pretty easily. It's not going to be super complicated, but as far as my code goes, it's going to be C++. Um, we're going to also be using NCurses still. We don't actually have to use it. We can get away with not using it, but we're going to use it just to simplify clearing the screen and uh, getting input from the keyboard. However, we might eventually program our own keyboard input drivers, but well, not drivers, but um, keyboard input libraries. We may or may not do that. We're also going to, well, I'm going to suggest that you run this on, that well, if you're programming this, you use it on Linux. Um, the reason why is because Windows is, is makes it a bit of a pain. You have to compile PD curses. It's not Windows' fault, but <laughs> you have to compile PD curses, link a bunch of link a bunch of libraries. It's just not a fun process. So I would recommend running this on pro programming this on Linux because it's as easy as just using dash l and curses. So make sure you have n curses installed, G++ installed, GCC installed, all the normal development tools. Make sure those are installed your, on your Linux system. And of course you can do this in a virtual machine if you don't actually have a hardware install of Linux. Um, I'm going to also be providing a GitHub link in the description of every video so you can click on that and follow to see all the code that I wrote in each tutorial. We're also going to... Uh, yeah, that's actually about it for that part. Um, for now, let's go ahead and start by programming the devs.h file. We're just going to set it up. It's not going to be everything. We're going to add to this as we go. So right now we have a make file. Or actually, before we do the devs, let's take a look at the make file. And I'll show you how it works. So what we do is we have an include directory. Um, this will hold all the information for the .h files. Uh, you don't actually have to have this, but it's in my make file and it's on GitHub, so you can copy and paste this and it should be nice and easy to follow. Um, we're using the G++ compiler. We are including these in this line. Uh, we have the obj folder. This is going to hold all the .o files. And then you're also going to be linking the math library and ncurses library for now. That is subject to change, but we have it set up like that for now. You also include the dependencies as a list of files. So for now we're going to have defs.h, and you can just add more and more files to this. It's not limited to just one. And you also, and yeah, your dependencies are that, and then you also have the obj files, main.o. This will tell it to compile main.cpp which is um, run over here and then that is handled by the all command so what you do is you can type make and then it'll assemble or it'll compile all the O files and then it will also compile a binary executable file in addition to that you can also clean the entire directory by running the make clean command and that will just delete all the O files but it'll leave the um, the executable and the executable is called all for now so with the run command you do it make it builds the project and then does dot slash all which is the name of the executable and we'll change that for the release version but there's no point for now so to start let's go ahead and um, make dear include and obj so now we have those two folders in here um, let's go ahead and make make the defs.h um, file and let's also go ahead and make the main.cpp file and let's go ahead and let's modify that within we'll build the defs.h first first let's go ahead and include ncurses 
and curses.h, don't forget that part. And then that will include all the functions that we need uh, in order to utilize ncurses. And as long as you have the dash l ncurses in the make file, there should be no issues compiling and running ncurses, well, the code that utilizes ncurses. Another thing that we want to include is std int because we want to make sure that we have access to um, hard coded or not. Yeah, well, we're going to need to include 16-bit integers, 18-bit integers, and the likes of those. So make sure to include std int. Um, we're also going to need to make two, a couple defines. So to the first one, we don't actually need this, but it's the window height. We're just going to simplify the, the lines to wh for window height, and then we're also going to simplify ww as calls. And both of these are ncurses variables that are set up um, by ncurses. It's just the number, it's just the size of the terminal in squares. So if this is your, it just counts the, it's pretty much the number of boxes across and down in the window or in the terminal that you're running it in. All right. So we're just simplifying that to window height and window width, make it a bit easier to understand. Um, let's now modify main.cpp. We just need to include defs.h. We'll return zero there, and let's go ahead and include io stream just to make sure everything's working. Alright, so we built, we ran the make run command and then it printed out here, which is what we told it to on this line. So let's go ahead and delete that. And now what I'd like to do is set up our ncurses window. So we've included devs.h, that means we have access to the ncurses library. So to do this, what you want to begin with is, some, is a function call in ncurses.h called initscr. That just sets up the screen normally and then we're also going to run the function raw which will take raw input instead of uh, the alternative which I'm not exactly sure what it is but we're just setting up end curses so bear with me <laughs> uh, we're gonna set no echo to on I also forgot what that does but I'm sure it's useful and then we're all um, at the end we just do end win so let's go ahead and put that into the code here uh, in SCR raw ah, no echo and then at the end end win I believe that's all we need um, yep so now let's go ahead and test the stuff let's do print w this is a test of n curses just to make sure the n curses is set up correctly and everything works um, Oh, actually the reason why it did not do that is because we need to refresh the screen and pause. So to do that, well normally you'd run the, uh, the function refresh, but we don't actually have to in this case because get ch will also run the, the refresh command. So what that'll do is refresh the screen, display in the new context or the contents, and wait for a key press. So if I do make run, there we go. So this is our ncurses window. And then I press a key and it exits back out of it. So one minor thing I wanted to go over before the tutorial concluded is what happens if there's a runtime error in the middle of your program. Now this could be a problem because it, if it doesn't run this end win command then the entire screen is going to be, well your terminal is going to be buggered up and you don't want that. So if I just induce a runtime error here add those values and then before we call end win delete values and what that'll do is try to delete a stack array which is not a good thing if you know anything about C++ um, but because it is going to error before it runs end win that's the reason why we're going to be able to see what I'm talking about so if I do make run and then if I hit enter you notice how the terminal gets really messed up so in order to fix that you can still type in it but when you type things you can't actually see them so I typed this, but I hit enter and nothing showed up. So what you want to do is type S-T-T-Y 
space S A N E S T T Y sane. Hit enter, clear, and your screen should be back to normal. You can go back and look at your code as well. And I'm just going to delete this. It's not going to be in the GitHub code either. And yeah, that's just about everything I'd like to cover for this tutorial. In the next one, we're going to go a little bit deeper into the mechanics of the actual rendering. Uh, and I'll see you all next time.